Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top solar stocks to get into this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you guys do, make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. Also guys, I need you guys to do me two favors. The very first one is go ahead and subscribe to my podcast. The Carter Farr Show on YouTube. I post about, you know, investing, money management, trading stuff you guys would definitely benefit from. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Also, guys, you guys can go ahead and check out my blog, moneywithcarter.com. That will be the second link down below. So make sure you guys check those out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So now let's jump into it. Roll the intro. Let's go. Bam. So now the reason why I wanted to talk about solar stocks today is because I do think their future is extremely large. Not to mention, I do think that we are going to get more and more dependable on renewable energy. And so we might as well make some money and invest into some of those companies. So now let's go ahead and look at the top companies that I would recommend. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So the very first stock here is ticker symbol DQ here. You guys can see it does have some resistance from 73 to about 80, some support from 32 to about uh, $20. Now, over the past couple of weeks, we just had extreme buying pressure. Stock went from $50 all the way up to 120 around 133% total gain here. Now, how fast and how hard did it fall during the recession? It did fall pretty hard. It fell around 52% before consolidating and then extreme buying pressure. But why did this stock go up? I do think that people started to realize that electric and renewable energy is the wave of the future. We had extreme buying pressures from Tesla, Nikola Motors, and a lot of other um, electric car manufacturers. And I do think this is kind of following in those same footsteps and it's kind of going under Wall Street. Everybody cares about Tesla, these big companies, Nikola Motors, you know, Neo, all of those. But a lot of people don't know about DQ and they don't really care about it. But look at this, 133% growth here for this first stock is absolutely crazy here. The second one here is ticker symbol ENPH. You guys can see that we, we do have a beautiful upward trend. Now, the thing about this one is look at this. So let's draw out all the lows for this stock. You guys can see boom. And then we did have some more buying pressure, which turned it like this. So let's mark out the highs. So one thing in the short term right now, it is hitting that resistance line, but I do think that this stock does have a very, very large future. All the way back in 2016, you could have bought the stock for about 83 cents. If you guys would have, if you guys would have, you guys would be up around 6,359%, which is nuts, but that does not surprise me. Looking at it at the RSI uh, standpoint, you guys can see it is crossing in the overvalued territory. So each time that it has, well, most of the time we do have some sell-off here, some sell-off here. The only time it didn't was right in here, but I do think we're going to have some temporary sell-off here, uh, but definitely long-term play on ticker symbol ENPH. The next one here is First Solar. You guys can see that this stock does have some really resistance at around $81, some support from around uh, $38 to about $28. So honestly, this could be a textbook uh, swing trade. And not to mention, the long-term and future growth of all these solar companies is extremely large. And I do think First Solar is a fantastic company, but yes, in the short term, very similar to EMPH. Short term, uh, it is crossing the RSI, so it could be getting into overvalued territory, which honestly for growth stocks isn't that big of a deal. It's just something to keep in mind. The next one here is ticker symbol NEP. Now this one here, it, we did have a beautiful upward trend, fell extremely hard from around uh, 61 all the way down to about $29. And look at this fall. This is over a 52% decline, but this beautiful upward trend, strong confirmation, strong reversal. Now, I do think here we're going to have very similar to all of those other ones, some temporary sell off because it looks like we do have a little uh, trend reversal right now, but I do think we're going to get bought up here at around 60 bucks. So that's good as that's good as new. 
Not to mention you guys are going to be getting paid a dividend with this one. So for all of you dividend guys, this is another fantastic one. It looks like we're getting paid uh, 53 cents, 50 cents, and 57 cents. So one to keep it, one thing to keep in mind is they are slowly increasing their dividends. So for dividend investors, income investors, that is fantastic. Now, the next one here is ticker symbol RUN. I did call this one out all the way down here at around $10. Um, I did get into this one and I did have a beautiful swing trade from 10 to about 32 bucks all the way up in here. I did think once we were in here, we were going to get some temporary sell off, but it did break and it used that and kind of flagged down and pushed up more. Now, this one is a fantastic long term stock and this one is already up around 4.8% today. So honestly, all these stocks here, this is what I would do. This is what I would recommend. I would invest in them and I wouldn't even look at them for a couple of years. I do think the future for them is extremely large and I know you guys will not regret it. But like always, I do think before you guys invest into some of these companies, have a nice solid base of ETFs or bonds to act as your defense just in case if this whole economy is unshaky and some things start to fall, you guys can kind of use those as your defense in your portfolio. Now the next one here is ticker symbol SDG. Beautiful upward trend, no dividend for this one, but really this one didn't get that hit pretty hard. It, this one really didn't get hit pretty hard. You guys can see it was trading at around 139, fell to about 73 immediately bought back up and broke those highs honestly a lot faster than the S&P 500, Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ did. Now the last and final one here, this one is one of the uh, top stocks or top solar stocks year to date. Um, this stock, if you guys would have got in at around $7, uh, you guys could be up extremely high here. If you guys would have held it for the year, you guys would be up around 244% as of today so honestly right now i do think we're gonna have a little temporary sell-off to at least 20 um but all these long term long term long term long term that's what you have to think about these i know you guys will not regret it i do think people are going to get more and more dependable on renewable energies and i do think these are going to be the top go-to stocks for solar let me know if you guys want another video explaining the top renewable energy stocks so we can find some wind energy, we can get some solar in here, we can get all these other ones, see if there's any good ETFs to get into. Let me know if they comment down below what you guys want me to do and I'll go ahead and make a video for you guys. So that is it though, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive and overall stay safe out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to my podcast and check out my blog. Two links down below, check them out. We'll see you tomorrow, take care, bam.